Dr. Vijay Bhaskar, Chairman, Ethics Committee, Clinical Research and Trials, Masters in Orthopedics. Today, we will discuss about a degenerative changes of the joint. Otherwise, a, every joint has its own soft tissue in between two bones which forms the joint. The soft tissue is called cartilage or otherwise menisci. So, whenever there is a wear and tear in the engine, the degeneration of the a bearing also takes place, a wear and tear of the bearing also takes place. Likewise, in human bodies, when a man starts working, walking, standing and doing variable activities with his joints, it is necessary. Hence, the subsequent pass of the age after the 40, 50, there will be a degeneration of the joint. The degeneration of the soft bone or the degeneration of the cartilage are possible and because of the activity of the joints. Hence, leads to degenerative changes of the joint. So, when there is a degenerative changes of the joint, the, when there is a wear and tear of the cartilage, where the hard bone touch each other, causes further erosion of the bone, leads to deformity, swelling and severe pain because of the nerve endings in the bone hinges. So, hence, the degenerative changes in the joint leads to pain, swelling, redness. So, the degeneration must be ruled out whether it is because of vitamin D deficiency otherwise called osteoporosis due to deficiency of the vitamin D, calcium and minerals. Whether it is because of the trauma in the joint leads to damage to the cartilage, whether it is because of the fracture to the internal joint, whether it is because of the infection leads to damage to the cartilage, whether it is because of the tumor which damaging the cartilage is the reason for the degeneration of the joint. We must exclude with an x-ray, MRI, CT, if necessary PET CT and certain blood tests to rule out cause of the degeneration. Once you rule out the degeneration cause, then we can treat the cause easily. So, most of the times we discuss about the degeneration of the joint in old age people, where there is possibility of the knee is most common degenerative joint. Apart from that, the hip also is leads to because of hip, knee and ankle. The most of the lower limb joints leads to degeneration because these are the weight bearing parts. So, obviously, a knee takes load of more than 70, 80 percent of uh, weight of the body and hip around 50 to 60 percent and ankle a little more. Hence, but more active joint is knee. Hence, it leads to degenerative changes most commonly. So, hence we need to handle the degenerative changes in stage 1, 2, 3, 4. When initial stage when the degeneration is there, then changing the activities supporting the joint and medication does helps the damage to the joint. When there is a stage 4 joint damage or degeneration, then it must be treated surgically because by the time the joint damage will be more than 100 percent, which hampers the walking, standing and daily activities. Hence, sometimes most of the knee joint degenerative changes is the stage level 3 and 4. We need to do a surgery that is called total knee replacement to correct the deformity to make it stand on a axis which bears the weight. Hence, the person can walk painless better and does his job better. So, in degenerative arthritis, we need to take care of the joints. In stage 1, stage 2, we can clean it with the arthroscopic procedures, we can inject the steroids, we can inject the uh, cartilage regenerative products like halorin rays or we can give physiotherapy to strengthen the joint and we can avoid the uh, weight bearing walking exercise. We can do non weight bearing exercises to strengthen the joint to relieve the pain. So, these are the various methods to relieve the degenerative joint problems.